Like and subscribe right now for amazing luck for the next week. Make sure to watch today's full video to see an optical illusion where I will guess your name. And not just that, but don't forget to comment your answers down below as we go along. On our screen right now, it looks like there's some trees, right? But what do you see in this picture? Comment down below what you see and then I'll actually go and reveal the answer because there is something hidden in this photo. Okay, you guys, so right here, there was actually a face hidden in between the trees. Were you able to see this or was it too hard? Is this Christmas tree projecting out or is it projecting in? I have no idea which way it's going, you guys, but I want you to know which way you think it's going. So of course, comment down below, do you think the Christmas tree is projecting out or is it going in? Okay, you guys, there is a hidden letter within all of these dots. Are you able to see the hidden letter or is this way too hard for you guys? So I need you to comment down below what the hidden letter is and then I can see if you were able to spot it or not. Okay, you guys, the hidden letter in this image was the letter T. Were you able to find the letter T or was it too hard? Can you spot the difference between these two Mona Lisas? Comment down below what it is that you're able to spot if there even is a difference. All right, so when we turn this photo upside down, you can see the Mona Lisa on the left is smiling, but the Mona Lisa on the right is now frowning. Were you able to spot this or was it too hard? So right now you probably see a bunch of random black and white lines on your screen. Well, shake your head and then it should reveal a secret image with a secret message as well. So comment down below what it is and what you saw. Alright, so if you shook your head, it should be revealed to be a Pokemon Pikachu. If not, don't worry because this one was pretty hard. Right here, we got a sentence that looks like a bunch of random letters that we actually can't understand, right? Well, wrong. Because if you're able to focus, then you might actually be able to read what this says. And if you can read what it says, then comment down below what it says as well so I know if you completed this illusion. We've got this next one here, so are you able to find the mistake in this picture? Comment what you think the mistake is and then we'll go and reveal the answer. Alright, so the mistake is actually in the word mistake itself. The word mistake is actually just spelled wrong. Were you able to spot this? Comment down below if you were able to spot this or not. So this man here is trying to figure out which one of these ladies is his wife. Are you able to help him out? Only 3% of people are able to figure this one out. So which one is his wife? Comment down below which one you think his wife is. Is it gonna be lady A, B, or C? Comment down below. All right, so the man's wife is actually letter A, because if you look close enough, right there you can actually see a wedding ring. Were you able to spot this? If so, you are a really smart person. Are you able to spot the real Pepsi logo between these two photos? There is one small difference in these photos, and if you're able to spot the real logo, then I'd be really surprised. So comment down below what the difference is and which one is the real logo. So the real logo between these two photos is actually the right image. Were you able to spot this? If so, comment down below spotted in the comment section. Right now we can see a word on our screen and it spells mind. But if you squint your eyes, there will actually be a change of word. I have no idea how this works, but it definitely blew my mind. All right, you guys, so squint your eyes and comment down below what the word changes to. So you guys, in this image here, we all see these black and white dots, right? Well, wrong. There's actually a word behind these black and white dots. Are you able to see it? So did you get the word hide and seek? If so, you are correct. This one was a tougher one. 
And if so, you are right. So comment down below, hide and seek. Are you able to spot the difference between these two photos? There's three small differences in these photos, and if you are able to spot this, I'd be really surprised. So comment down below the differences between these two images, and then I'll reveal the answer. So the differences between these two pictures is actually right here. The plate, hat, and ketchup bottle are all different. Were you able to spot this? If so, comment down below spotted in the comment section. Can you find a T in this picture? Look closely because this one is really difficult to find. I'll even give you guys a hint. The T is not a red, so comment down below and then I'll reveal the answer. So guys, were you able to find the T in this image? Congratulations if so, you have amazing eyes. So the T in this picture is actually right here. Comment down below if you found the answer or not. Okay you guys, this challenge is another eye test. So if you can get this one right, that means you have crazy eagle eyes. What can you see in this picture? Probably a bunch of O's, right? Well, what if I told you there's actually the letter C in this image? So my question to you is can you find the letter C in this image? Comment down below if you found the answer and then I'll actually go ahead and reveal the answer. So the letter C is actually right here. This one was kind of hard to see, so if you were able to spot this, you have the best eyes. This just looks like a regular image, right? Well wrong, there's actually an emoji hidden in this image. And my question to you is can you find it? So to find the emoji in this image, and then I'll reveal the answer. You can comment down below and then we could all compare our answers. So the emoji in this image was actually a sheep and it's hidden right here and it's camouflaged in the white sky. This one was a really, really tough one. So don't be mad if you got this one wrong. Yes, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you your name. So right now, I need you to go get a calculator, a pen and a paper and I will now guess your name. But before we begin, can you like and subscribe and comment name down below in the comment section? All right, let's do this. Now that you have your pen and paper, find each letter from your name in this table and assign it to a letter in the alphabet. For example, Sam would be S equals 19, A equals one, and M equals 13. Do this for your own name and write it down on a piece of paper. Now join the numbers together. Now multiply this number by 2. The final step, divide your answer by 2. Okay, now just change your number into alphabets from this table. There you go, you just got your beautiful, amazing name. Did it work for you? Let me know in the comments down below.